All right. Well, one key issue shaping 2024 is the fact that Biden knows he's in trouble with minority voters. And so it should come as no surprise that we saw Biden talking to Univision this week. And today he stopped by Al Sharpton's National Action Network. Watch. Together, we've kept our promises to make some of the most significant investments in the black American community ever. Despite the fact that Latinos and black Americans are major voting blocks for the left, Biden still can't get the same reaction that Trump does. Take this viral moment from Trump's visit to an Atlanta Chick-fil-A this week. So I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Right. Trump. Thank we support you. you. Uh, we support love you. Okay, 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. Please do. <laughs> Please do. Joining me now is the woman from that interaction, Michaela Montgomery, founder of Conserve the Culture. Michaela, yes. uh, why did you want your photo taken with Donald Trump that day? Well, above all else, he was our president, the leader of the free world. Sure. So I don't know who, as a person who respects high offices, wouldn't take the opportunity to take a picture with the president. So, um, of course, I'm going to want my picture, but I supported Donald Trump last election. Um, and I definitely feel like I'll probably be supporting him again this election. So with that being said, yes, I want my picture with the president. <laughs> so, Michaela, you are part of an organization called Conserve Culture. I don't know what that is exactly. Maybe you want to tell us a little Conserve bit. Conserve the culture. Conserve yes. the culture, okay? I don't know if that means you're conservative or not. I'm curious what your circle of family and social circles, where are they at with Donald Trump, especially compared to where they were in the last election? Well, I come from a generationally Democratic family, so my parents are actually not Trump supporters, but they don't not support me because I support him. Um, and that is something I can be very grateful for to have in my family. Um, so, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I also understand that there was a other young woman there with you that had her photo taken with Donald Trump, was there and part of the, that interaction, and she got some negative blowback. What happened? Um, so, unfortunately, the young Spelmanite who uh, enjoyed, you know, utilizing her opportunity to take a picture with the president has faced some severe cases of bullying ever since then. She's being ostracized from her community. People are claiming that she made a mockery of her institution and, you know, how dare she take a picture with a man like Trump. And it's just, it really speaks to college, especially in HBCU, is supposed to be a space where Black people can go and express themselves freely without feeling like they have to be a certain way to be accepted by their colleagues. Because that, unfortunately, is how we feel when we're in non-Black spaces and we feel the need to code switch. So going to an HBCU is supposed to be a time where you can go and express yourself freely, whether that be social commentary or political identity. So it's really, really sad to see how when some people who are studying policy decide to exercise their First Amendment right and express themselves and their individuality, they could be ostracized or demonized for something like that. Yeah. And she didn't even come out as a Trump supporter. She was just somebody there trying to obtain more information, just trying to see what candidates had to offer. Yeah. Because clearly the last candidate only said, if you don't vote for me, then you ain't black, without delivering yeah. any tangible. So now the action item for us as voters would be to go to each candidate and ask them, well, what tangibles are you planning to deliver if we put you in office? And Donald Trump took a second to speak to each and every student and ask them, what matters to you? How can I earn what? your vote? And we need to see more of that in our community. All right. Well, it'll be interesting to ask her and you and everyone else what kind of tangibles the Biden administration has delivered over the last four years, it sounds to me, from what I'm hearing from minority communities, is that they are not impressed. Um, Michaela, thank you for joining us. You're a, a free thinker, and that's a wonderful thing. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.